below and welcome all to the first of unofficial document made by myself, SpaceFace04. The topic we're going to be discussing about is something to do with Omega Strikers. Now, if you know what Omega Strikers is, I'm sure you've all seen from the past videos I've been doing, it's a 3v3 based hockey-like game and the objective is to break the barriers to unlock the goal and score points. We have like a whole community with different kind of players. We have players who are really good. Eh, some mistakes can be made, but you know, you can always prove yourself to uh, redeem from those mistakes. Now, today we're going to be actually talking about Attorney. Attorney that helped, that was made by one streamer and it united the entire community. You ready to find out what happens? Well, let's go. Welcome all to the game we call Omega Strikers, a 3v3 hockey-like game. First to score three points in a set wins the set, or first to five win the game. As you know, I have said that we're going to be talking about a serious topic today. And that topic is, well, how a rigged attorney caused a bunch of tension within the Omega Strikers community. And you thought this was going to be about something good. <laughs> well. Don't always trust the title, boys and ladies. The event took place back in June 24th, 2020 where a tournament hosted by an EU streamer known as Sophia5100 was hosting a tournament sponsored by Odyssey, which is the game company behind Omega Strikers. And I would say one should be very proud when their own tournament and events are sponsored by the own game company because it gives you like content creator benefits. And I'm sure that we all know that there is some sort of TOS, or Terms of Service, conditions when some of these events being sponsored by the game company are very strict. And one small slip-up, or a huge slip-up, can just take away your privileges and all of that g other goodies. And even though the tourney was underway and it began with a great start, however, it started to go downhill pretty fast. Intel has suggested that an anonymous source has said that to the entire NA community that the entire EU has gathered around and called out Sophia. But for what? She's hosting a tournament, as we all know, for 10,000 Audi points. But it seems as she's kind of rigging it herself. How? Well, first of all, the rank requirement, or ELO rank requirement, which is at a 2.2, which is a round plat, mid plat, high plat, somewhere in the plat zone. And she's also participating in the tourney herself, basically trying to increase her chances of winning her own tourney. Now don't get me wrong, people who host their own tourney and participating in their own tourney, everybody does it. But at least some people have the soul and kind heart not to rig it. People have been also saying that she's been banning like a lot of the teams for no apparent reason, either because maybe she just doesn't want them to play, or because of the player they are, of who they are, or maybe it's because their elo is actually low and they got caught with it. And listen, if you want to become a good streamer, YouTuber, or Twitch streamer, you're going to have to listen to your community, because she also decides to go out of her way and go against players' wishes, which I'm sure is a huge no-no when it comes to being in the creator-sponsored TOS. And so basically, the tourney was rigged, but she still ended up losing it and got knocked out. How did she get knocked out, you ask? Well, let's head to the next chapter, shall we?
content creators, whether streamer or YouTuber, they show themselves playing a game of whatever genre it is. It could be Omega Strikers, Fortnite, Overwatch, just a few games to name. And well, Omega Strikers is the one we're obviously going to be talking about today. Here in the forest of Omega Strikers, we have one human being, and that streamer's name is Sophia5100. Sophia5100 is an EU streamer, as I covered back in the previous chapter, and she's been streaming Omega Strikers since beta season. Now, beta season being the part where the game was still in beta testing. And this streamer happens to be an ERA main. ERA is a character where she can buff and debuff opponents and allies. Now, Sophia started out as a really strong streamer when the game came to beta release. She was one of the content creators who got verified and was able to do some stuff that was sponsored by Odyssey like Host Attorney. Now, ever since that day, things have been going downhill pretty bad for her. One asked Mike question, why are there anime girls pole dancing during intermission in the tourney? Why have there been so many teams banned ever since the tourney was announced? Why were the results the way they are now? And well, we're going to go into more detail about how she rigged the tourney and what were the aftermath effects of it. Now the tourney being rigged was caught by one player, a player who decided to drop the intel to almost everyone. And the NA side of the OS community acted pretty fast. One player has managed to notify Aesop, the Odyssey community manager. Others have decided to just talk about how bad and rigged the tourney was. And others just came to try and attempt to expose how disrespectful she can be to other Omega Striker players. And while she participated in her own tourney while it was rigged because she disqualified so many players and tried to increase the elo requirement she lost and she lost in one of the most embarrassing and probably most shameful ways that one could lose when hosting a tourney in front of at least probably 1000 people live on twitch here we can see that the match is tied two to two both in score and in sets this is anybody's game and it's a close one too the round starts and the ball is on the bottom lane of course, you know, it's going to be a good volley. Sophie uses a core flip, hits one barrier. Now they have both barriers unlocked, and now they have a greater chance of winning, with both their barriers still intact. Now, the red team is going to play a huge good amount of defense. Just observe closely, and uh, yeah, the weird, funny follower thing. But uh, you can see that their Julia's trying to pressure. They end up getting pushed back into their goal, causing them to lose one player. Now it's a power play 2v3. Anything can still happen. Blue is trying to apply pressure, but Red is now fighting back. With Red's goalie making the ultimate move, they just aced the entire team, all because of one Kai ultimate. And with their incredible teamwork, the game has been finished, and Sophia lost the game when she rigged her own tourney and still managed to get knocked out of the winner's bracket. And now on to losers round three, I think. And then she didn't even make it to losers finals from what I've heard from another player. I mean, I probably watched it, but I just got bored within like five seconds because I would rather play Octopath Traveler than to watch a rigged tournament. And then a day after the tourney, a lot has not been going well for her. Well, first of all, she's been gaining less, view less viewers as the days go by. And she's just trying to reconnect to the, to the community, but it's just not working because of how that tourney was rigged. And you can see she kind of missed a special, which should have not been easy to miss, giving her, their opponents a 4-5 to five victory. And that team being of some of the Omega Striker uh, staff, like Kisu and another streamer named Sweaty. And then again, she played against the same entire team, causing her to finally lose it and cause some internet shenanigans. What are those internet shenanigans you're on? And what social media platform is it on, you ask? Well, it's kind of obvious that it's Twitter, but what happened inside it? Well, time to move onwards, on to the next chapter, where we discuss the internet drama.
Oh, wait. Welcome to chapter three, internet drama. Here we're gonna basically talk about what has been discussed in Discord and Twitter as being the two main social media sites for Omega Strikers. In the previous chapter, I said that Sophia lost it after facing the team of a content creator and a Omega Striker staff. Now, because of that, she's managed to go in some kind of manic mode on the internet, basically making accusations, false lies, and other stuff, basically. And as you can see after the tournament, her views started going down drastically because she rigged it and still lost. And she even made a rant about getting her verified removed. Yes, she indeed got her verified removed because of that tourney. And now, here we have on Twitter, which is now known as X, X is in town, he's gonna give it to you. <laughs> Throwing that aside. Here we have a tweet from Sophia5100 explaining why she wants a few players banned. At Audi Aesop, at Sony VT, oh my gosh, poor Sony, and at Odyssey Studio. The NA players at Sweaty, in game name Sweaty Diamond, and at Kisu VT, in game name Kisu. Omega sniped our quick play games in EU region breaking Omega Strikers verified creator TOS. My team was plat or lower, and these were the first games I played in days. Sounds like a skill issue to me. Video evidence of the snipe. Could you do justice and unverify them, please? Mind you that she easily missed a easy goalie save with that one game as Juliet. So that's a huge skill issue. And then in the second clip, we can just see that they just got demolished and she was standing on the ledge, too far into the ledge, and she ended up getting KO'd. And the game was lost after that. Anyways, continue on to the tweet. I will be providing evidence of Keckley99 cheating to get into the tourney, inciting people to hate on me in the EU Discord. Discord. <laughs> Discord, most of the tournament day. I have to do it here since Aesop refused to accept any evidence from me in our DMs before he unjustly removed Verified Creator for me instead of Keckley99. My only fault being the first tournament not being perfect, even though the feedback from the community was very positive. Because of the stress Aesop caused me with unprofessional interactions in DMs, I had days where I only slept two hours because of the stress. Aesop blocked me on Discord, so I am forced to take this issue to the community in public where everyone can judge fairly who is in the wrong. I can provide evidence of everything as I have text or video logs. Now, if I recall correctly, the main reason she only had two hours is not because of Aesop being, quote, unprofessional. But actually, she's been streaming for like at least 16 to 21 hours almost every time. And of course, I wasn't there in time to get the photographic evidence because she deleted the VOD before anyone could catch it. And well, Kekli99, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name wrong, uh, but he fired back with a pretty funny GIF or GIF, GIF, however the fuck you pronounce it. And it was honestly intriguing. If I'm gonna be honest with you, if I was that blind to see that my skill was not even done being casted yet, then I would have not hit that core strike. Like, huh? Well, and as you can see, even though she says that the positive feedback was positive, the community, however, did not see it positive. Because what was the results when Aesop finally took note of it? Yes, victory has been for the victims of the band, players of the tourney, and the whole entire EU community. Though, unfortunately, it doesn't stop there, as we go on to the Discord rant now. I just like raiding people, so no worries if I want to raid you sometime. You thank me by raiding anyone that is nice and supportive of the OS community, and I do appreciate raiding me. I do not try hard to raid you, I just see you in chat. And if I'm ending stream, you are one of the top people to raid. What did Sweaty ever do? Lied to Odie stuff? I was harassing her with ping to get me in trouble. A few days ago, Sony had told me to stop pinging Sweaty. Oh yeah, I don't think I'm gonna read that. But yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna read the rest of it, but as you can see, uh, she's been not happy ever since her verified was taken away from her. 
basically trying to accuse and harass Sweaty because of her verification being unverified now, is that she's pinning it on Sweaty because Sweaty is just basically doing nothing wrong, and she just wants to take her anger out on somebody. And even in here, we can see she uses the same insult, just calling her that word. I would say it, but I don't want to right now. And then again, uses the same exact word, thinking that Sweaty is manipulating Sony to get her hated, which is not true at all. And she's spamming Juliet Hart, basically thinking like, oh, this is a peaceful argument. Well, obviously it's not with that attitude. And is she really trying to make a better life for everyone? The only thing I can see, and probably you guys can see, is she's making her life worse. With the two hours of sleep, the instant drama, and now this. Like, yeesh. Mind you that she made a silly mistake while playing Atlas Goalie, doing a core strike and core flip with her skill not finished. And also mind you that when playing her rig tourney, she got aced and even lost. Winners and losers bracket, knocking her out of the tourney and not winning it. And then she goes out of her head, falsely accusing some players and also bothering the development team and the game staff and just basically just using her anger to harass and just blame everything on people. And well, we all make mistakes and that's okay. However though, it is one's willpower to rise up again and start anew. And as you can see, Sophia did not do that. And I want to challenge you guys to not make the same mistakes like she did whenever you make a small mistake and error. Just rise up and continue to push forward. But for now, I really need a rest. I need some water from all this talking. Whew. But anyways, this video is going to contain one more segment of the aftermath of after this video. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of this video. Hope you all have a good day. Space Space 04 out.